if you notice yourself having thoughts that drive you crazy, thoughts that you don't want to think about, and you're looking for a solution to control your thinking and to stop that compulsive overthinking, then this video is for you. So you stop working, but you keep thinking about work. You want to sleep, but your mind doesn't let you. You think about what other people might think about you. You think about what you're going to say in a conversation that is coming up. You think about uh, what you could have said better in a conversation that you had. You think about your business or your life and the problems that might come up. Step 12, 13 or 14. You make plans and you doubt them. You doubt yourself. Basically, your mind never stops and you're looking for a solution. And the solution you have right now are most likely you engage in an extreme activity. Whether it's driving a motorbike, it's uh, skydiving, whatever requires your full attention, which uh, doesn't allow all that chit chatter. Or you engage in sex because that's uh, where most people can also uh, let go of their thinking. However, both are not really sustainable. What you need to understand that your thinking, in most cases, is not smart. You might think that this type of thinking got you so far about always calculating every single move that you can make or problems that might arise. But the truth is, most thoughts are not creative. On the contrary, they're compulsive, repetitive, looping. And whenever you think of a solution to a problem, then three new problems come up. And I can speak from experience because I used to be the biggest overthinker, compulsive thinker, had no idea how to shut that voice up. So. Um, I can share really from experience on how I was able to manage this. And my thoughts were making me sick. Sick uh, uh, as in energy levels being low, uh, mentally being tired, um, emotionally drained, and also physically. And I will talk about that story in a little bit. What you need to understand is that you cannot control your thinking. You're having 70 to 90,000 thoughts a day. How do you think you can control that? And that's, you know, where a lot of times Western mentality is I need to put everything in a box. And the more you try to control it, the more dense you become and the more compulsive your thoughts will be as well. However, if you actually can let go and surrender, then you'll find a lot more peace. So this might come as a shock to you, but your thoughts are not unique and neither are mine. And Dr. David Hawkins' work has been incredibly helpful, profound for my inner journey. And I want to share some of his work here as well. And he talks about that our thoughts are based on the state of consciousness that we're in. So if you're experiencing fear and I experience fear, we will have very similar thoughts. If you ex experience courage, pride, maybe even peace, and I have those same states of consciousness, again, our thoughts are going to be very similar. And he talks a lot about um, identifying the stuck emotion, which is in our subconscious and about different ways on letting go of them. And that's actually what's going to change them because we cannot solve the problems with the same mind that created it. So let's say you are fearful um, about finances. So your solution might be, okay, I need to make a lot of money and build a fortune. And you might even succeed on that. But what's going to happen next? You're going to think about, well, being afraid of how can I maintain it? How can I not lose it? So the solution is somewhere else. So one good way to stop overthinking is to actually notice how useless it is. And in that case, you're actually switching from being in your thoughts to becoming an observer of your thoughts. And then you can decide, hey, do I want to entertain that thought? Do I want to give power to that thought? Or do I actually have that inner concentration to choose a new thought, something else that I want to entertain. However, if you do not have that concentration to entertain a new thought pattern, what you can also do, and this is a little bit counterintuitive, but actually think about the worst case scenario and accept it. So talking about finances, what if you would lose all your money? Would you make it back? Or maybe you wouldn't make it back, but you would find another way to make money and would you be able to live on a smaller income. Let's say the relationship with your significant other doesn't work out. Would you be okay? Would you be able to find somebody new? And of course it's hurtful. It's uh, also losing a lot of money. It's uh, not fun. It's not about that, but would you actually be okay? Would you be able to figure things out? And the answer is yes. And if you think you wouldn't be able to find somebody new or find a new way to make money or whatever, 
this is a really different conversation that uh, you need to have with yourself. I want to share an experience about my life. It was uh, a couple of years ago and I was struggling financially and I had a lot of proposals and waiting back on businesses whether they would accept them or not. And whether they would accept them or not would make a big difference in my life. So naturally I was stressing out at night, 10, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., even later. But then again, you know, what good does it do for me thinking at midnight if somebody's going to accept a proposal or not? That's just dancing me up. And what also happened, I actually, my back started hurting. I could barely move. I, I had a horrible time sleeping. And then it kind of hit me. I was like, I have a loving family. I have great friends. I'm otherwise in that situation. I'm healthy. I have so many good things going on in my life, yet I'm creating suffering, misery in my life because of, uh, because of this situation of me thinking I need to make a certain amount of money to be worthy or otherwise other people or maybe even myself. I look at myself as a failure and all that kind of stuff and I was just like fed up by it and figured, you know, even if all the businesses say no, I'm still going to have a <laughs> with gratitude have a roof over my head I'm going to have something to eat and I might not be able to go on that vacation I want to go on and not be able to invest the money that I want to invest but I will be okay and that actually gave me a lot of uh, peace I could sleep well that night um, when I followed up on the prospects my energy was a lot more uh, friendly not tense they figured that and um in the upcoming week, uh, multiple businesses said, said yes, and I made a significant amount of money. So by me accepting the worst case scenario, actually the best case, uh, one, of, one of the best case scenarios happened. Another time I was in contact with a girl I was really interested in, and things were going well, and out of nowhere, she stopped messaging, and I got confused. What's happening? I started overthinking. Uh, what did I do wrong? Uh, what can I do? So she messages again, blah, 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 blah. And uh, then again, I notice myself, hey, why is this so important to me? Will I be okay if she never answers again? And the answer is yes. And that again, let me uh, calm down and approach the situation from a place of not neediness, but actually um, outcome independence. And that makes a huge difference. So we talked about two solutions right now. One is actually you becoming aware that you're overthinking and starting to entertain a new thought. Or the second, you actually think about the worst case scenario, accept it, and even know that you have that inner strength that you're still going to be able to create a good life for yourself, even coming from the worst case scenario. And, you know, there's always even more worst case scenarios, but even that will figure itself out. And uh, in most cases, it's not even going to go uh, that bad. But there's other solutions as well. And it's to get from your head to your body. So do some exercises, do some sport, uh, do some yoga. I personally find breath work extremely powerful. And then there's also other emotional release exercises that you can do to really let go of that suppressed emotion that is causing you to be in a certain level of consciousness. So you can then transcend it. Plant medicine is very powerful in that regard, but there's others as well. Let me know in the comments if you uh, want to know some of them or if you want me to make a video about it. And also comment about your experience when you are overthinking, when you catch yourself and uh, what your solution is right now. Also, like this video so more people will see this content. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.